what's up guys it's me jimmy and geek so i'm going to show you how to replace a tube yes a tube inside the pearson tube pre v2 i mean it's not that hard as a lot of people wanna make it to be honest with you so now let me take out this screw slowly slowly here is my so here's my like bag i need a fill up uh, i need uh, like this one this is not a fill up this is like i forgot the name of the screwdriver is that phillips screwdriver i to fill up this single this one is fill up i forgot this one this one is like with the four face so now let me open the box for you here we go so this one is the manufacturing date so it mean that the tube inside was manufactured in 2007 and it's like like 2018 the tube is already 11 years old i mean january 12 07 sorry uh, it's not like 01 is like uh, 1st of december 2007 this is how you read the date so it's very easy to replace our tube you just open the screw make sure not to lose the screw or you will be screw up so yeah here we go I mean it's not that hard to open it at the end of the day let me open from the front okay and then one more screw okay from the side is already coming out okay okay there's a two more screw at the back or like four more screw okay I think I need to open from the back first, but no problem. Okay, I put here, and then total there will be eight screw which you have to remove. Yes, eight screw which you have to remove. I mean, it's not that hard to be honest with you. When you look at, it's quite easy. Okay, this one, this one needs a little more torque. It's a little bit tight okay here we go it's quite easy to remove i mean do you like to use the pre-amplifier nowadays only there's like one which is selling like at a consumer level most of like from warm audio cost you around 500 600 bucks this one costs you around 129 this one is for i mean quite friendly i mean do you, do you still like using the solid state drive or the tube pre-amplifier i'm a big fan of tube pre-amplifier I'm going to replace with a made in Russia Mullard uh, 12 AX7 tube. I mean, this one I think so is using like an I don't know like like a generic 12 AX7. Yes, you can replace a 12 AX7 tube with the 12 A uh, AU7. Okay, this one is out. It's quite simple. I mean, it's quite simple. okay I mean it's really very simple okay I already taken the all the four screw out and this one also now how I can take this one out okay I don't want to damage like with, with the electricity let me discharge myself okay yeah you just push from the back it's already out okay okay let me put this one in here so now what a beauty what a beauty literally i'm saying it what a beauty i mean what a beauty it is again it's what a beauty so now let me take out the tube uh if you don't want to break the tube again you don't want to injure yourself do not try to push from here you're going to break the pcb board try to push it push it slowly i mean it's, it's it's not like that hard to be honest with you it's quite easy but again be a little bit be careful okay slowly i'm just going to shake it like slowly slowly it's to, it's not that easy to take out the tube again it's glass it can shatter just try to shake it yeah like this can you see okay slowly 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 okay 
Oh, now it's out. Finally, it's out. Now, let me put the Moulard tube inside. Yes, the Moulard one. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, let me put inside. So now you can see this one is the uh, 12 AU7 which is made in China one and let me put inside the 12 AU7 which is the Moulard made in Russia one. I'm a big fan of Moulard tube. So okay I need to put slowly inside like this. It's not going inside. Okay I need to yeah now it's okay yeah wow I mean it's quite easy so this is how you put inside a molar tube I mean that's really quite simple yeah that's really very very simple to be honest with so you so now let me close the box yeah let me close the box okay here we go here here you can see it's like quite good fit to be honest with you now I wanna close this one okay like not like this like this let me see it's yes, quite good fit okay like this okay it's like this I mean it's like this okay now I have already put inside okay yeah now it's good now it's good fit now it's really very good fit okay now let me let me let me show you this one okay yeah okay yeah that's better but i need to install this one also this one will come here like this something like this okay it's not going inside okay then go like this then yeah like this it's a little bit confusing here come on okay yeah, come on okay yeah I'm, I was using the wrong one on the left one you need to use this one yeah now it's better now let me use on the right side it's okay it's awesome fit so now let me screw it from the top first yeah, let me secure it from the top. Here we go. I don't want to come out. It's going to come out. The design is a little bit confusing to be honest with you. It's come out very easily. come on okay now let me slide this one inside okay that's better and let me put this one this one can't be put without like this that is a problem which I'm facing right now okay let me put from here so it will be like confusing okay 
here we go finally yeah now just let me screw it as soon as possible okay here we go and then now the second one finally yeah finally I need to keep my hand on it I don't want to make it loose again here we go yeah okay it's tight I don't want to over tight it I mean, it's not that hard but just you know it's just it's like a little bit cumbersome I mean replacing the plate it's not going inside which me okay it have to go inside definitely okay here we go Okay, now from the front. Okay, here we go. From the front. And then the finally the last screw for the above and the remaining four. Okay, here we go. Okay, now finally the last four here. So if you are watching this video till then I'm going to give you a bonus video. I'm going to test the tube. That is bonus content. Okay. Okay, now the remaining two. And they finally the last one. So to, to test it, it is working I'm going to plug inside my mic so yeah now let me plug in my zoom f4 and show you it's working so now, or not. as you can see uh, you can hear me let me put the drive in 50% put the gain up yeah I mean it's quite good I mean okay let me let me just again on my zoom f4 controller so you know tell me how good i am sounding so it's working that easy to replace it so do not forget to sub subscribe it was me jimmy a kick i mean yeah bye